Hi everyone! For today's video, I thought I would bring you guys along with me and vlog my week because I have a lot of photo shoots going on and just some exciting things that I want to share with you guys. I want to share the behind the scene process of what happens when I'm shooting a lot and things like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. So at the moment, I am actually preparing for tomorrow's two photo shoots that I'm doing. And I've got all the clothes because I'm doing the styling myself. I like to keep my photo shoots as simple as possible. So that's what we're going through today. So these are all the outfits that I have. These are all things that I've just kind of collected over the years. I've had brands send me some things like as gifts and just to style shoots with. I've got these really cute swimsuits from storm swimwear which i really really want to use this week in some photo shoots and pretty much what i do is i mix and match everything depending on what i want the photo shoot to look like and who the model is that i'm working with and what the location is and i just realized there's sand on this you end up with sand on everything in australia <laughs> all right so now that the clothes are sorted i like to pack my camera bag the day before the shoot and I basically decide what I'm going to need on the shoot day. So tomorrow we're doing two photo shoots. So I'm going to need a bunch of batteries, which these are all charged and the ones that are still charging are on like the table to the side. Definitely going to need one Mark III body with my 35mm lens. This is my 135, which I don't need, so I'll leave that out. I also don't need my Sigma 24, so I'll leave that at home as well. And then we've got a second Mark III body as a backup, and the Canon 85 and the Canon 50. I always like to bring these three lenses to any shoot, so I can use one of them or I can use a combination of them. And I also have my memory card case, which I can't open <laughs> with one hand. Okay, sorry if my face is like half a shadow because the lighting's coming in from the side. But something else that I do is I always format my cards the day before the photo shoot. So instead of rocking up to the photo shoot and then having a shoot on my card and then formatting it while I'm there, I like to do that while I'm at home. So I basically just grab out my memory card holder and go through each card one by one. So I'm gonna start with this one. I don't know if it's just me, but does... Oh, I need a battery. I don't know if it's just me, but I get super paranoid when I'm formatting my cards. I always just kind of second guess myself and I'm like, did I download this? Is it all there? Like, I'm not sure. So unless I've actually selected the shoot and I know all the photos are there, I'll often have a look at the first and last photo on the memory card and double check that they're there on the computer. And then I feel safe enough to be able to format my cards. So... I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. And then I turn my camera off, take out the card, put in the next one, and just repeat, repeat, repeat the process until all my cards are fresh. Now that all my stuff is ready for tomorrow, my camera equipment, the clothes that we're using for the shoot, Dan and I are going to go and get some sushi for dinner. Also, I just wanted to mention, this is the first time I'm wearing a jumper in like months it's been about 40 degrees here in australia like every single day for the past two weeks and all of a sudden today is like super overcast and really really cold which i love um yeah i'm like i can't wait for it to be autumn because the heat is just there's been too much um but yeah i'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow when we're heading off to the shoot hello Good morning! It is Wednesday morning and Dan and I... Say hi! Hi! <laughs> He's tired. We are heading off to the shoot. It is currently 8am and we've got an hour and a half to go on our drive. And yeah, it was like kind of raining on the way in, which is great. Uh, but I think it stopped. I think it's just going to be cloudy today, which is even better. And then apparently the sun's coming out in the afternoon for our second shoot of the day. Um, yeah, we made it to the location that we're shooting at today and I've got my camera bag and my bag of clothes for the shoot and we're just gonna walk down now. So today, this morning, we're doing a really simple photo shoot with just the model and no makeup artist or anything so I'm really excited about that because I really want to do more like natural shoots where 
you know it's not as done up and it's just more realistic so we're gonna do that first yeah I'm excited to shoot the model should be here in like 10 minutes yay it's just a nice park that we're at and then the beach is up ahead Right, so we just wrapped up our shoot with Tyler and it went amazingly. I'm like so so happy with the photos and I can't wait to edit them. Lessons learned, which I've done too many times in the past and haven't actually learned my lesson, is don't wear jeans when you're shooting at the beach because they always end up getting wet and they always end up feeling disgusting. <laughs> For today's photo shoot with Chevelle, I'm only taking one camera body, one lens and one spare battery because it's just going to be a quick one hour photo shoot with a friend so I wanted to keep my kit as small as possible, no camera bag, just this. So we just got home from our photo shoot this afternoon with Chevelle. Hey! She's scratching my, my chair. And the shoot went so amazing. I, I just really, really love doing simple shoots. I feel like they're always the ones that turn out the most magical. They just have something really special about them. I don't know if it's maybe because there's less people so you have more of a chance to connect with the person you're taking a photo of, but yeah, just when I shoot with Christina, those are like my favorite photos. This shoot with Chevelle, I'm like so happy with everything. I'll just show you quickly. All the photos that we took, it's like a whole bunch. We had like a really beautiful golden hour. And you know when you just get like, you're taking photos and you know you just took a really really good one. Today I ended up taking like one of my favorite photos. I just saw like the moment happen and I got like really excited so I wanted to come home and have a look at what the photo looked like. It's this one here. Hold on I'll show you. There's the photo that's completely unedited but yeah I just I love it. I'm so happy with this picture. But yeah I'm really excited because tomorrow is gonna be a full day in the office. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> okay, so I've been apparently very bad at vlogging this week. I haven't turned the camera on. Is that a bit better? There we go. Using my computer as my lighting tonight. Um, I haven't turned the camera on all weekend, but I want to catch you guys up and I've got a bit of an issue with my double shoots that are booked for tomorrow. On Saturday, Dan and I went to one of our good friend's wedding and I couldn't vlog anything because Dan takes my vlogging camera as a backup when he's shooting weddings. So he's got his two main cameras and then uses my vlog camera as a backup just in case. So. Couldn't film anything on Saturday, and then Sunday is usually my day off, so I kind of like always switch my brain off on Sunday and I <laughs> totally forget to turn the camera on. But the wedding was so amazing, I had such a good time, and I'm so happy for our friends who got married. Um, I didn't film anything, but here are some photos of what I look like. I really, I really didn't take that many photos. It is currently Sunday night, and it is pouring rain like the rain is not stopping and I had a look at the weather and apparently tomorrow it's gonna be pouring all morning as well so I had to cancel both shoots that I had planned for tomorrow's the agency that I had booked tomorrow morning's model with 
didn't give me her number so I had to find her on Instagram and message her and luckily she messaged me back to say yeah all good I got your message and that's cool that it's cancelled. All is good tomorrow but it was a bit stressful so tomorrow is not a double shoot day like I planned but yeah at least I'll have some time to catch up with my editing and stuff which will be good and then hopefully I can reschedule the shoots for sometime this week. Hopefully I'm thinking maybe Wednesday or Thursday so we shall see. Good morning. So today is the last day of the weekly vlog. It is once again Wednesday when we started off this vlog. And today has turned into an unexpected double shoot day. So I had a shoot planned, well I have a shoot planned with an agency model from Priscilla's down in Sydney, which should be really fun. And then yesterday morning, Christina messaged me asking if I'm free this morning to take some photos of her. It's currently 10.50 a.m. So we're heading off in about 20 minutes to go and see her and do like a quick little fun shoot as usual, which I'll film a behind the scenes for. Well, Dan will film the behind the scenes. And then we're gonna head off to Sydney and do another photo shoot there, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so I have my camera bag and I thought I'd pack it with you guys one more time. See what I'm bringing today. All right, so first of all, I don't need a flash, so I'm gonna leave that here. So I'm gonna take uh, one Canon 5D Mark III body with my Canon 35mm 1.4 lens, which I'm like 100% sure that's what I'm gonna use to take photos of Christina this morning. And then, I don't need my 24 mil, so I'll leave that here as well, just somewhere on the desk. Um, and then I have my Canon 50 mil 1.2, which I will definitely take. I'll probably use this to do the second shoot today, I'm thinking. And then I also have my second Canon 5D Mark III body as a backup in case something happens to the first camera. And I'll take my 85mm 1.2 lens as well, just in case. Though I don't think I'm going to use it because we're going to be shooting in harsh sunlight and I prefer to use either my 35mm or my 50mm to do that. I like using my 85 when we've got like sunset or golden hour kind of shoots instead because that lens really shines during that, during that time. And I have some flash triggers which I don't need. Camera remote, I may as well leave that in there. And then I've got my case of memory cards. And I have one, two, three, four camera batteries plus the batteries that are inside each body. So that's all ready to go. Let's go shoot. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> so pretty. So we just wrapped up our shoot with Sophie and it was so amazing. I am like so, so happy with all the photos that we got. We were shooting for like an hour. Um, but yeah, we're basically at Tamarama Beach in Sydney, which is right next door to Bondi. And yeah, we're just admiring the views now before we go home. Okay, so we just got home from today's double shoot, which was amazing. Today ended up being so much hotter than I thought it was gonna be. It's like full blown summer again, even though I think today is the last day of summer. So tomorrow it's going to be officially autumn. But yeah, I came home and I downloaded my cards. I backed them up like usual. And then Dan and I made some dinner. And now I'm sitting down here to film the ending of this weekly vlog. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want to see more of these. I can totally make them for you. Um, I just wanted to say that this isn't what every single week looks like for me. If I did five photo shoots every single week, I would think I would go crazy because I would have no time to edit anything and no time to do anything else. The reason why this week was pretty crazy is because Dan and I are heading overseas to two different places next week and then in a few weeks after that as well. So I wanted to make sure that I had a few extra jobs booked in before I went. I had some clothing that needed shooting, some people that want to shoot with me and 
things like that. So yeah, not every week is this crazy. Sometimes it's less crazy than this and sometimes it's more crazy. It's just, it's always different. But, but thank you so, so much for watching everyone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys and I'll see you guys all really soon. Oh, I'm like so hot from being at the beach today. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Bye.